Now at six, the issue of Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election steals the spotlight on the world stage. President Putin, uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. Tonight, strong criticism in this country on both sides of the aisle to President Trump's performance at a news conference following the Helsinki summit. Quite an event. President Trump is now on his way back to the U.S. right now. Air Force One is set to land at Joint Base Andrews at 8.40 this evening. CBS4 anchor Rudabay Shabazi is here with more on the reaction and fallout to the president's comments when that summit ended. Rudabay. Elliot, at a side-by-side -side news conference with Russia's Vladimir Putin, President Trump openly questioned his own intelligence agency's conclusions that Moscow was to blame for meddling in the 2016 U.S. election to Trump's benefit. Thank you very much. President Trump said the U.S. relationship with Russia has turned a corner thanks to his face-to-face -face meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Our relationship has never been worse than it is now. However, that changed as of about four hours ago. While the two had many issues to talk about, including nuclear proliferation and Syria's ongoing civil war, Russian meddling in the 2016 election dominated their joint appearance. My people came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others, they said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. President Trump again criticized special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation after recent indictments pointing to Russia's direct involvement. I do feel that uh, we have both made some mistakes. I think that the, the probe is a disaster for our country. I think it's kept us apart. President Trump appearing to side with Putin's denial over U.S. intelligence agencies has drawn sharp criticism from many in Washington. Former CIA Director John Brennan responded on Twitter calling the press conference, quote, treasonous and claimed the president is, quote, in the pocket of Putin, unquote. Putin was asked about his preference in the last election. He dismissed allegations Russia collected compromising material on the president, but said he did want Mr. Trump to win in 2016. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because he talked about bringing the U.S.-Russia relationship back to normal. The Russians are jubilant about today's meeting. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov called it, quote, better than super.